There would be nightmares again tonight. She'd always had a knack for finding misplaced keys, glasses, and pets. She was fine with that. But her new psychic ability for tracking down the bodies of those who had died by violence was not only depressing, but frequently led to anxiety attacks and disturbing dreams. Why couldn't it have been a talent for something more positive? Like, say, picking winning lottery numbers? Why did it have to be dead bodies? Talia March clenched the dead man's gold cufflink in one hand, gathered her nerve, and flattened her other hand against the metal side of the industrial-sized trash bin. She was braced mentally and physically, her core Pilates tight. Nevertheless, the jolt of psychic lightning rattled her nerves and her senses. In the past few months, she had learned that the energy laid down by violence always came as a shock. She had finally figured out that what she detected with her new ability was the psychic stain of the killer's emotions, or lack thereof, and the pain and fear of the victim. It made for a toxic brew that seeped into the crime scene, and to her, was as obvious as a pool of blood. She was aware of a weak frisson emanating from the cufflink. The owner was dead, but the item that he had worn frequently in his life was still infused with the hollow echo of his vibe. She could work with almost any object that had belonged to the missing or the deceased. But over the course of the past several months, she had learned that some materials absorbed and reflected paranormal energy more efficiently than others. Gold was a particularly strong conductor, almost as good as crystal. Shit, she whispered. She took a quick step back. He's in there. Roger Gossard, the head of Gossard Consulting, a crime scene consulting company, studied the trash bin with a pained expression. Are you sure? You hired me for my best guess, she said. This is it. Roger grunted, but he did not argue or demand more details. He knew better than to ask her to explain her conclusion. He looked at the unhappy man wearing a security guard uniform, emblazoned with the logo of the company that controlled the loading dock. Okay, if we take a look, Roger said. We need to find out for sure if there's a body inside before we call the police. 